everybody, welcome back to the Havian channel. My name is Nikki and I am so glad that you clicked on this video today. I will admit that today's video is a bit strange because it's a review but it's technically not my first time eating at this restaurant. So for context, the first time I ate at Project Pie was I think 2014, 2015, I was still in high school. Um, so it's quite a while back. But the point anyway that I'm trying to make is that I haven't had Project Pie in two years, I think, two years. And uh, like I said, I never saw any updates from their page um, about whether or not it's open and I'm not willing to drive all the way to Alabama just to find out whether they're open or not. Um, but recently, I think it was a week ago or two weeks ago, where they finally posted on their Facebook page that they're opening up a branch in Mahati, which is so conveniently near compared to Alabama. So I really do love Project Pi. I had to try it out and I had to know if it was of the same quality, if it tastes the same, if it's just as good. Um, because if it's not, then I would be really disappointed, so. But before we drive on over to Shopwise Makati, please don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the Hubian channel, and ring that bell so you are notified every time we upload a brand new video. Now it's time to hand it over to VoiceOver Nikki, and I'll see you at the end of the video. When I entered Shopwise Makati, I spotted Project Pi immediately. It is right in front of you. You cannot miss it. It's not massive and it's not super tiny either. It's it's a weird size, but I will admit it is not what I expected. It's a little... It's not a kiosk, but... Oh, what is it? <laughs> it's not a restaurant either. It's just this little place on the side where you can have your food to go, but they also have tables for you to dine in at. The process of having my pizza made is very different from what I'm used to. I had to just list out the things I want at the cashier instead of ordering it like a cafeteria or like at a subway where you're with the chef and you're telling them what you want and they make it in front of you and then you pay. It was the opposite this time which I found a little strange but essentially I am still building my own pizza so I guess I can't really complain. Although I say that I shouldn't complain, I will admit that it was just a little strange that I don't get to tell them to add more because that was the fun part of Project Pi is adding just a little of this or a lot of that. So that was a bit of a miss for me. So when I received my order, they were all in boxes. Uh, at the Alabang branch, you get it in plates and trays. So this was so strange to me because I thought it was such a waste of cardboard. However, I do understand that because this isn't a supermarket, I guess they anticipate that not everyone wants to dine in. So I just wish they had plates, you know? I just felt like this was a huge waste of packaging. It did not need to be like this. We ordered the James Project salad. Now this is a salad that my mom usually ordered whenever we went to Project Pi. So if I'm being honest with you, I don't have that good of a reference point in comparison to my mom, but I decided to try it anyway. The salad has chicken, um, walnuts, some apple-y sauce, I'm not sure, and I think they were raisins. For a salad, I think it was a little bit sweet, but I loved the chicken. It was cooked very well, <laughs> but I think overall the salad is a bit sweet. If you're not into sweet salads, I don't recommend it, but it felt very fresh. The ingredients felt fresh and I enjoyed it nonetheless. Admittedly, from the get-go, I was quite disappointed with the pasta because they didn't have my favorite pesto chicken. However, I did not want that to cloud my judgment, so I just ordered the bolognese and actually, I was impressed. It tasted really nice. It wasn't too sweet, nor was it too sour. The balance and flavor was really good 
and it was very meaty there was a lot of meat in it but not to the point where it felt greasy like i said it was incredibly balanced i just think the serving's a little small but aside from that it was pretty decent pasta i can't complain the first pizza i tried was that of my friends or technically my cameraman for this situation because he had ordered a half and half pizza he got half red sauce half white sauce so i tried a slice of the white sauce pizza um because i know a lot of white sauce pizzas can oftentimes taste like milk but thankfully project pie's uh white sauce did not taste like that it was creamy it was not too sweet it was actually it went really well with the toppings that my friend chose so <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure if it tasted good because of the toppings or because of the sauce, but generally, um, the ingredients were really fresh, none of it was too greasy, and I do really like a thin crust pizza, so honestly, I was really happy with all these bites that I took. But being honest, the moment of truth comes with my pizza, and this is because I order the same thing every single time at Project Pie, because I have mastered my order. I know what I want, how I want it, and that's exactly what I did at Project Pie today. You know what? It actually tasted the way I expected it to. It tasted exactly how I remember it. The ingredients are fresh, they're not greasy, the thin crust is so crunchy, and it was just such a joyful experience eating this pizza again. The banana Nutella pizza has always been quite interesting to me. I don't normally get it because I don't really like sweet pizzas but I would get it for free on my birthdays using the membership card that I couldn't even use at this branch. But anyway, it's banana, Nutella, and I think some cinnamon sugar. The flavors go really, really well together. I just personally really don't like sweet pizzas. I want pizza pizza. <laughs> I'm a sucker for savory pizza, not sweet ones. But I do highly recommend that you try it because again, the flavors go really well together. It's just not really my cup of tea or my slice of pizza, rather. All right, we are back home and incredibly full on pizza. Um, I'm not gonna keep this talking part too long, although we all know I'm very talkative, but this is because, like I said, Project Pie is not new. It's a known fact that I do enjoy Project Pie. I love Project Pie. Again, I've had it years ago, and I was so sad that there weren't any updates as to whether the one in Alabang was open or not. So the fact is I do like Project Pie, but, the review is about whether oh, the one in Makati lives up to the standards that I have been waiting so long to try again. So that's one thing. I didn't get to use my card that I've been keeping in my car for all these years. <laughs> um, secondly, I, I've always thought that the price of Project Pie compared to other pizza restaurants is definitely worth it because I get to put whatever I want on it. So the fact that you can do whatever you want with your pizza, for me, is incredibly awesome. I do think that's worth the money. It's not brick ovens, so um, don't expect it to taste like really smoky and woody. Ambiance is, for me, really important. And the fact that you're just smack dab in a supermarket doesn't feel that great. At least the, <laughs> the ambiance is not it for me. And the quality of the pizza and the way it tastes uh, is, you know, it tasted like home. <laughs> the taste was so familiar. The quality is as good as I remember it. Honestly, I'm so happy. It feels kind of bare um, in the sense that one, my favorite pasta was not there. I love pesto chicken pasta. So much so <laughs> that the uh, the chefs in Alabang, they've memorized that I always have my pasta as well. So the moment they're done with my pizza, they go, do you want pasta, ma'am? I'm like, heck yeah. <laughs> Generally, it, it feels kind of bare, but honestly, I'm just really happy that it's there and I get to have Project Pie again. Uh, I do recommend that you guys go, especially if you love Project Pie in the past. It's the same, it's still really good. But I do wanna hear from you guys. 
Have you tried Project Pie in the past? If you have, let me know what you love to put on your pizzas because I get the same thing every time. <laughs> I need to broaden my horizon, so please do give me some ideas. And while you're down there in the comments, I hope you don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the Hobian channel, and ring that bell so you are notified every time we upload a brand new video. Again, my name is Nikki, and I'm so glad that I met you here today. Until the next video, bye!